Good morning. Please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the pledge to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up on UPC, the yearbook staff needs your pictures. <laughs> I'll have an interview with some varsity football players and last night's lightning news coming up in sports. And don't miss your chance to retake your underclass pictures. All this and more is coming up on UPC and it starts right now. Welcome to the Thursday, October 29th edition of the UPC Morning Show. I'm Diane Johnson. And I'm James Ervius. There will be a Spanish club meeting today. There will be board games. All Spanish students are welcome to attend. The meeting will be in Ms. Getton's room in K7 at 205. The yearbook staff would like to encourage you to turn in pictures of the following. Parties, messy rooms, beach, picnics, hangouts, and homecoming preparation. Come by J6 during fourth period or during lunch for more information. We need pictures ASAP. It's almost time again for underclass picture retakes. Sign up in your English class. Each English teacher must turn in their retake sign-up sheet to Ms. Moulton on November the 5th. You must turn in the original portrait package on retake day to get the new package. Retakes will be taken in the chorus room on Thursday, November the 12th. And there is a rehearsal for the dance class this Saturday, the 31st, from 9.30 to 12. Please make plans to attend. There will be an FCS meeting today after school in room K2 at 2.10. Please make plans to attend. And now with an interview with the varsity football players, here's Brian with sports. Thank you, James and Diane. I'm Brian Angst with UPC Sports. Regular season wrestling practice will begin November 2nd. All athletes planning to wrestle this year need to get their physicals and insurance turned in as soon as possible. Any student that would still like to sign up for wrestling needs to see Coach Freyer. There will be a meeting for all boys on the soccer team today in L1 at 210. There will also be a boys and girls tennis team meeting today after school in the media center from 2 to 3 o'clock. Last night, the Lightning had a chance to even out their record at 4-4, four and four, but, Lightning, but after Lightning, Bill Ranford was replaced by Darren Pupa. The Ducks scored five consecutive goals, resulting in a Lightning loss of 5-3. to three. The Lightning will take on the LA Kings tomorrow night at 10-30. Joining me today from the varsity football team, we have Jeff Malley and J.C. Carell. Jeff, you guys went to Clearwater last week and played for the district championships. After a couple of controversial calls, it resulted in a Clearwater victory. How does the team uh, react to a loss like that? Well, we just tried to, you know, recover from it. It was a real tough loss for us, like you said. And uh, we just tried to, you know, pick it up and practice this week. Hoping for a real good game this week, too. We need support. So we're hoping everybody comes out. And JC, what has been the emphasis this week in practice? Uh, just to come back and win this game, uh, we got to win our last three so we can go into the playoffs with a winning record. Thanks for joining us, guys, and we'd like to congratulate the varsity football team on making it to the playoffs this year. Now let's go back to the news desk. Thanks, Brian. All juniors and seniors who wish to take the ACT are reminded to stop by the guidance office to pick up an ACT registration form for the December 12th test. Their deadline for registration is November 6th. You must register by November 6th to avoid a late fee. All marine biology members going to SeaWorld needs to stop by F5 today to pick up instructions and bus assignments. And we have a few last minute announcements. Uh, okay, today's red ribbon announcement. The law requires us to make you aware of the dangers of drugs and alcohol in school. We're happy to do it. Because drugs and alcohol harm not only the person who takes them, but everyone here in the school and the community. Drugs interfere with the way you learn. They distort what you see, hear, and feel. Performance suffers, crime increases, and the users can end up with a criminal record. And we have a happy 17th birthday to Alyssa from All Your Friends, and a happy 16th birthday to Eddie Meyer from All Your Friends. Have a great day.